Hi, this is Jamie from jamiewickguitar.com and this lesson is all about bar chords. Now if you ask anyone who's learning the guitar what one of the hardest things about it is, the answer which you'll more often than not get back is going to be bar chords. They're very physically challenging to play and as such they can represent quite a steep obstacle for people that are learning the guitar. The flip side of that is of course that bar chords are extremely useful. So they're they're very difficult to learn in the first place, but once you do get the hang of them, they're really, really, really useful. Uh, what is a bar chord? Well, a bar chord is a chord wherein uh, a finger will do more than one string at the same time. What we're going to be focusing on today is full six string bar chords. So, in these chords, my first finger is actually going to be playing all six strings at once. It's going to be flat on the fretboard, giving me every one of those six strings held down at that fifth fret. And then we do another chord shape on the top to make it in the chord that we want to play. What I'm going to do is uh, we're going to focus mo mainly on the playing side of it, so the technique side of bar chords, uh, rather than the theory side because that's kind of its own lesson in itself. Uh, and I'm going to try and take you through some of the main points that are going to help you to, to play these bar chords. So we're going to switch over to super close up mode and then you can see exactly what I'm doing on the guitar neck. Okay, the first thing we're going to look at with the bar chord here is actually where to place your thumb. Now your thumb position is quite a big and important part of how you play the bar chord because one of the biggest obstacles that people face when they're first trying to make bar chords is the actual strength which you need to hold them down. Now obviously part of that's going to come from your fingers pushing into this side of a fretboard but you're going to need some sort of counter pressure the other side to help kind of pinch in and really get the most out of the strength in your hand. And that's where your thumb comes in. It's going to want to be on the back of a neck pointed straight up and a little bit to the left, not too much, uh, roughly on the kind of the top of the semicircle of the back of the neck there, but maybe a little bit higher towards the ceiling. Uh, flat on the neck, so not kind of bent over like this, quite nice and flat, and then roughly behind where your first finger is going to be. So not too far over to the left here because that's going to stretch out your hand too much. Uh, and not too far over here because then you're not offering that, that first finger the support and that's the finger that really needs it. So roughly about there. Okay, now we've seen what the thumb's going to be doing in the bar chord, let's turn our attention to the first finger and this is the finger that's actually going to be making the bar shape of this chord. As I said earlier, it's going to be a full six string bar, so we're going to be playing every single string from the first all the way down to the sixth. Now we do this by reaching across that first finger and putting it flat on the fretboard there. So a couple of things to notice though, the first being that I haven't gone too far with that first finger. It stopped just past this sixth string. So what we don't want to have happen is for there to be any kind of overhang and to go too far. What this does is it brings this large joint here into play and it makes it difficult to hold down that first and second string. So we want to be just, just past that sixth string there. The next thing to notice is that rather than having that finger flat on the fretboard like this, it's actually a little bit on its edge there. So rather than being very flat, what we do is we rotate the finger round to the left to put it a little bit on its edge, just like that there. What this does is two things. Uh, firstly, it puts the strings under this kind of slightly harder edge of your finger just here rather than a very soft part of your finger under here. Having that slightly harder edge to push down with just means that more of that effort and force that you're putting in actually translates onto the fretboard. Secondly, it opens your hand up a little bit. You'll see there, if I'm on my edge of that finger, I can actually reach quite a lot of notes up here. If I put it too flat, you'll see how it brings this part of my palm in towards the fretboard and stops that kind of, mo that kind of movement. Okay, the next thing to notice is that once we're on the edge of your finger, you bring it right up close to that fret wire, as far to the right as you can get it. Uh, it's kind of the same principles you should be employing with any fretted note really, and that is that you try and fret the note as close up to the fret wire as you possibly can. So not down here, not in the middle, but right up here close to the fret. So again, not at the start here, not in the middle, but as flush up to that fret wire as you can possibly get. It's the best place for having the highest chance of success for holding down these chords. Okay, lastly, you want to be looking at how kind of straight the finger is there. 
it's got a little bit of a bend in it. It's not completely dead straight like that because that would kind of overextend the joints in, in your finger. So it's very straight, but just with a little bit of a bend here, but not too pronounced. Okay, now the next bit, and a bit of it is quite important really, is what you're actually doing with the, with the fingers on top of that bar because what we're going to be doing here is making a major chord shape. So we've got that first finger holding down all the strings as we had just a second ago, but now I've added the second, third and fourth fingers on, second fingers in the sixth fret of the third string, third and fourth fingers are both in the seventh fret on the fifth and fourth strings. Relative to my first finger on the fifth fret there, that gives me an A major chord. Now the important thing I want to stress here is that one of the key things which is going to determine how successful your bar chord is, is kind of equally dividing your attention between making that bar chord shape but also focusing on the second, third and fourth making good strong clear notes as well. One of the biggest mistakes I see people make with bar chords is they worry too much about the bar chord here and then lose focus of what's going on with these. We still need those to be very good notes, so coming down on the fingertips, nice and straight, not touching other strings either side, all that kind of stuff from open chord is equally kind of important here with this bar chord, and it's one of the things that's gonna make sure that chord's successful. Sometimes that can be the missing link. If you're playing your bar chord and they're not sounding quite right, a lot of the time people will automatically assume it's that first finger. Sometimes it isn't. Sometimes it's actually these ones because you're losing focus because you're, you're concentrating on, on this first one. Obviously that's easier said than done and a lot of your time and effort is going to be spent on that first finger. But just do try and keep an eye on these other ones as well when you're practic practicing these bar chords. Okay, and here's the whole chord being held. You see we've got the first finger here on its edge there a little bit, pulled nice and close up this way to the fret, no overhang this direction thumb there, back of the neck, behind where the first finger is giving support to that finger, second, third and fourth fingers coming nice and straight down on their fingertips, not interfering with any of the other strings. So when you come to play the chord, hold it down nice and tight, squeeze in between your thumb and, and your fingers on the fretboard and hopefully there you have the chord. Okay so just to recap the main things to be looking out for when you're trying these bar chords, which hopefully will help a little bit, your thumb position, making sure it's in the back of the neck there, supporting behind those fingers which are going to press in onto the fretboard. Uh, your first finger, all the things that I just mentioned, keep it a little bit on its edge, don't hang too much over the fretboard, all of those things hopefully will help. Uh, when you make the rest of the chord, so, so the second, third and fourth fingers, or any part that isn't the actual bar, Try not to neglect that in favour of concentrating too much on the bar. Easier said than done, but that really will help to make that chord sound out nice and nice and good. Um, and then another one is actually going to be your elbow as well. Um, I see a lot of people try bar chords and they kind of dig their elbow into their side because they, it's kind of that illusion of having a little bit more strength there. Try not to do that too much. So with bar chords, you want to keep your elbow nice and loose and kind of use it to help your wrist and your hand make the bar. So rather than digging it too much into your side, which can create a bit of an awkward angle on your wrist and might start to hurt over time, keep it a little bit flexed so you keep a nice straight wrist going all the way around to your hand there. Actually gives you the most strength and is, is gonna be the most comfortable way to play it. Um, another couple of things to mention about bar chords is obviously it takes a lot of physical strength to do. So um, it's, it's kind of as the technical side of it and, and making things technically right and all of those things, but a large part of bar chords being successful is just the actual strength building up in your hand over time. So it's, it's gonna take a little while. It could be a matter of weeks uh, or even months to build up that strength in your hand to be able to, to, to do them effectively. Um, all I say is a, is a cautionary note for that is don't work them too much to the point where your hand's gonna hurt. Okay, it's the same thing with anything, whether you're exercising in the gym or whatever, you know. Um, if your hand kind of feels a little bit uncomfortable while you're doing them, that's okay because it's going to feel uncomfortable. As soon as it stops being uncomfortable and becomes painful, probably give it a rest and try it the next day or the next couple of days or so. So just don't try not to overdo it. But you will gradually find the strength building up in your hand. Uh, and once you combine that with getting the right technique for them, bar chords will be easy.